behind. This is how you make it in this country. You got Creed. You jump in front of them. They make it so hard to love you sometimes. Still behind. Both of these. I said I didn't want to be on the internet. Go, 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 go. No, 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 Hey Wizards, I'm Danielle Prado and I'm Gianna Dugan and you're watching BGTV. We are currently at Memorial Park right outside the village of Washingtonville. This place is so special to this town because it honors and commemorates all of those who have lost their lives helping the innocent on September 11, 2001. Not only is it a beautiful memorial, but the park itself is a great addition to the beautification of our town. I agree. I love it here. Coming up on this week's episode, we have a coverage of the Technology Club at the middle school, the retirement of some high school teachers, and the high school art show. So let's jump right in and head on over to the middle school with Chrissy. Hi, it's Chrissy Diaz here, and I'm currently in the Washingtonville Middle School reporting on the Technology Club. As you can see behind me, there's a little car driving around. Let's go see what the club is really about. So I'm currently here with Arbor. So Arbor, why did you want to do the Technology Club? I wanted to join Technology Club because I was interested in making worlds my own when I was growing up like when I grew up and I wanted to learn like early on how to make robots and I just wanted to do it to have fun with some of my friends, build a robot, see what it feels like, learn how it feels like so I future can make my own robots in the future. Basically a lot of people they have like scooters at their home that they don't use so they'll, they'll like donate them. And, um, so basically what we do with the scooters is we'll like we'll use like the batteries and the important stuff we need to for our bots. So I'm currently here with Michael, and Michael, you said you wanted to pursue a career in technology. What is it exactly? I want to like start my own business when I grow up, and um, I want I, like technology can help me pursue that. And like with technology, you can make a lot of things easier instead of having to like go somewhere and do it manually. You can just do it online, and you can start doing a lot of things with technology. That sounds awesome. We have a little entrepreneur here. <laughs> All right, grab that blue one. The Technology Club is a wonderful club created by Mr. Harford. Students are able to let their creativity and intelligence go hand in hand. Thanks for watching! I have to say one of the really great things about our school district is how many clubs and opportunities there are in each and every school for the students. This is breaking news with Jesse Berenger, and I am here on the playground of Taft Elementary this week to investigate who among us of the fourth graders is worthy to be bestowed the honor of Student of the Month here on this playground. We're going to find that out here on Breaking News. Hi, what's your name? What's your name? Kara. Kara? What? Do you think you're going to win Student of the Month this month here at Taft? Uh, I don't know. Uh, she doesn't know, but that's okay. All right, we're moving. We're moving. Hey, man, what's your name? Lucas, uh, do you think you meet the criteria to be chosen as the one for student of the month? I think I may. Yeah? What, what, what do you exactly do you think you need to do 
as a student of the month person to be qualified. Well, to show self-control, to be respectful, to be responsible. Look at this man, he's such a good behaving boy. I, I hope you win, bud. All right, we're moving, we're moving. We're going, we're going. Who's gonna win? Student of the month! Yeah! Jonathan, do you think you're gonna win student of the month this month at Tab Elementary? Yes! Jack, do you think you're gonna win student of the month this month? Yeah. Yeah, why do you think so? Because I'm the best. Are you gonna win student of the month, man? You're gonna win? Yeah. All right! Do you think that you have what it takes to become student of the month this month? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Who'd vote for her? I'd vote for her. Yeah! Let's take a vote right now! Student of the month! Yeah! Yeah! This has been breaking news with Jesse Berenger, and I think we got a lot of front runners here at Taft Elementary for Student of the Month! Yeah! I have to say, one of the really great things about our school district is how many clubs and opportunities there are in each and every school for the students. That's so true. I can't even count how many clubs I've been in at Washingtonville. Yeah, I've definitely been in more than you, though. Let's take a look at Brooks Weekly PSA. kidding me like you know that you don't even go to as many clubs as me. whatever Gianna come on <sighs> next up Megan's giving us the sad but true inside look on the teachers we never want to say goodbye to take it away Megan so as some of you know Mr. Worcester and Mr. Briggs the band and chorus teacher are retiring let's go see what they have to say about it so this is my 18th year here at Washingtonville High School well, I, I think over the years we've, we've as a staff have helped build the program to a quality level We've got three very talented teachers here, and uh, I think we've brought all of the ensembles to a level each year where they, they feel like they've succeeded at something. So at WHS, uh, you know, since I've taught here, I've been here 17 years, which is about half of my full career, and it's been a true honor to work here and work with all the students, um, as well as our my fellow teacher colleagues and administration. It's just been a blast, and uh, my, my goals here have been the same as they always have been in my career. I've tried to bring to students a sense of community, uh, a sense of teamwork, and a love for the art of music and all that it can bring. So I think we've managed to be pretty successful with that. Um, but my proudest moments, I think, are when our full choir is able to give public performances at our concerts, and really everybody pulls through you know, a sense of teamwork does a great job and we see the happiness and joy that we can bring to family and friends when we do that. Music gives them a, a, a way to express themselves and for some kids this is the only safe place that they feel in, in the entire building. So for the very introverted kid this is a, a very accepting place for them. For the extroverted kid this is a place for them to express themselves and if you think about it music is one thing that we all fall back on to to kind of take the edge off of life. I just really want to say to all of the Washingtonville community that I thank you for giving me uh, the honor of working here and being a part of the whole Washingtonville scene. Uh, hopefully people would agree with me that I've been able to bring um, enhanced sense of music along with my colleagues in the band area and um, really make that be something where people, many of the students have come along and grown and many pursue beyond that. And, uh, but even above and beyond, um, hopefully I have contributed to the overall sense of community that we have as Washington Wizards, and I will continue to hold Washington close to my heart for the rest of my life. I'll miss everybody here, definitely. And uh, it'll be exciting to see what these kids go on and do in their, in their future. So, bye Washington. 
Here's one last thank you for everything you guys done in the Washington community. The whole school and community thank you very much. Now it's time for the weekly sports update with Izzy. Hey Wizard Nation, I'm Izzy Kachenda here with your weekly sports update. This week in Wizard Nation, boys baseball unfortunately lost 2-1 in an extra inning game Saturday the 18th. However, they will continue their season as they move on to playoffs. Boys Lacrosse will also continue their season this Thursday, 5:23 at their playoff game in Kingston. Sadly, I won't be here next week for your weekly update, but stay tuned. I'll be back in two weeks with all the cover of Wizard Sports. In the meantime, if you look to the left, here you can see all of our upcoming games, meets, and matches. Now, it's time for your weekly softball update. I'm here with Lily Marino, Diana Budakowski, and Kara Graziano, our senior softball players. Now, Lily, how did your previous game against Pine Bush help prepare you for your senior game yesterday? Well, we played Pine Bush for our senior game, so we knew what to expect going in yesterday, and we overcame it and won. <laughs> now, uh, Diana, how has your team grown and developed throughout your four years of playing? Um, after being on varsity for four years, you learn a lot and you get to know the girls. So I think being a team and just knowing how each player plays is really what made us the team we are this year. And Kara, now that you guys have grown and developed to be such an amazing team and such a close-knit family, what advice do you have for the juniors entering their senior season? I would say just have fun with your games. Take each game individually and don't harp on the loss and just focus on the next game. Well, guys, thank you so much. We are very proud of you. Super excited to see what you guys have for us next year. Danielle, Gianna, back to you. Thanks, Izzy. Now it's time for the weekly announcements. Attention students from Ms. Held's 2017 to 18 clay classes. Please come and pick up your fantastical animal sculptures and human rights tiles from the display cases outside room 121 by Friday, May 31st. The United States Navy will be having a table set up during lunches on Thursday, June 6th. Please stop by and visit with them if you would like information about a career in the Navy. There is a mandatory meeting for all students attending the senior trip on Wednesday, May 29th at 2.30 in the auditorium. Sign up for the projectile launcher competition on Friday, May 31st after school in the gym. Sign up sheets can be found on the counter in the main office. Are you smarter than a ninth grader? Come see the class of 2022's first game show fundraiser on May 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. and see your teachers compete against each other in a battle of wits. Tickets are $5 and can be purchased May 27th through May 29th by the cafeteria and at the door at the event. Ariana's got a great segment for us this week on the art show in the high school library, so stay tuned after this quick commercial break. definition is work produced by human creative skills and imagination. I, for one, think it's much more than that. Art is a way to express feelings and beliefs, which is what connects art emotionally to the human soul. Thankfully, our art program provides events that fully equip our students to do just that. The 19th annual Spring Art Show took place in the school library this week. Let's take a look. This is one of my favorite pieces in the show because of the amount of time I put into it. Besides just the sculptural aspect, I took a lot of time into painting individual details and adding values and then hand tracing the glasses to fit our face, which took a while in itself. I plan on 
on continuing art in the future by um, taking college courses. I'm currently enrolled in SUNY New Paltz for their arts program. I'm looking into being a ceramics major because of all the wonderful programs I have around that one study. I think the school needs to art show every year because it gives students an opportunity to showcase what they've worked on throughout the year. I know for myself, having my work put up was just really validating and made me feel really confident in the work that I achieved throughout the year. Uh, don't you just love this weather? Yeah, I hope it stays like this all weekend. Maddie probably knows. Let's check out the weekend weather forecast with Maddie. She sees a storm a coming. It's coming round the bend. She's rolling up her sleeves and starts her forecasting. Working on a three day and she gets it right. You gotta listen to Maddie and everything will be all right. Hey Wizards, Memorial Day weekend is looking beautiful. Friday is 72 degrees with partly cloudy skies will be the start to our four day weekend. It'll drop to 58 degrees late in the afternoon. Saturday's weather is looking about the same with temperatures at 71 degrees paired with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will drop later that evening to 61 degrees. Sunday looks the, like the best day of the long weekend with temperatures increasing to 83 degrees. Partly cloudy skies will stay consistent as temperatures drop to 56 degrees in the afternoon. Monday is looking great as well, with partly cloudy skies and 77 degree temperatures. Temperatures will drop later that evening to 53 degrees. Luckily there is no rain in sight for this weekend, but just in case, I don't want to jinx it. Have a wonderful weekend, Wizards. I'll see you next week. Last but definitely not least, here's ING with Ethan. We're ready. Welcome back to ING with Ethan. This week I'm skateboarding. Because you're pretty good at skateboarding. Uh -huh. So I've always really been into skating, even though I basically just started skating. I really always loved the skate culture. So, and I also really like like fashion and just clothing in general. Being insubordinate means following your own path, even if society says it's not the best path to go to. Pop down. Just as soon as you pop down, you just drag it up. Honestly, I thought it was going to be easy because all these aren't really that hard to learn. But with Ethan, he's physically incapable of doing anything on a skateboard, so I say it was, it was pretty hard. <laughs> you like my helmet? Yeah, it's fresh, yo, know, that's nice. It's my sister's. Ethan is a professional stuntman in a controlled area. Please do not, and I can't emphasize this enough, do not try this at home. Be smart, unlike me. On a scale of one to 10, Ethan did pretty bad. I would, I would honestly give him a three, because there was a little bit of effort there. He tried a little bit, but he still couldn't go through with it. See, that's like it. I'm not a doctor, but my hip was not supposed to go that way, or my knee. I've been ING with Ethan. I want to thank Giancarlo for skating with me. Thank you. You've done terrible today. <laughs> Stop it. Tune in next week. I have to go see a doctor. Bye. That's all we have for you this week, Wizards. Be sure to check out our weekly newsletter and podcast. And stay tuned to see where we're going to be next week.
As always, I'm Danielle Prado. And I'm Gianna Dugan. Thanks for watching this week's episode of BGTV. BGTV.